The U.S. Air Force's next-generation intercontinental ballistic missile has got a new name. Earlier known by the name of Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent, or GBSD, the weapon system under development has officially been designated as Sentinel. U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said, The name Sentinel recognizes the mindset that thousands of airmen, past and present, have brought to the deterrence mission and will serve as a reminder for those who operate, secure and maintain this system in the future about the discipline and responsibility their duty entails. Sentinel should be ready to start replacing the Minuteman missiles in 2029 according to projections. The missile is expected to serve till 2075, giving the U.S. a reliable land-based nuclear deterrence. The United States will invest nearly $100 billion in the coming years for Sentinel. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Sentinel ICBM would be the next big thing for the U.S. military. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The nuclear deterrence of a country depends on the nuclear triad. A nuclear triad is the capability to launch nukes from air, sea, and land. The U.S.'s nuclear triad includes B-2 and B-52 bombers with nuclear bombs and missiles, Ohio-class submarines armed with Trident II D-5 missiles, and Minuteman III ICBMs. The Minuteman family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. The Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. The number shrunk to around 450 by September 2017, and currently there are about 400. Over the years, the Minuteman III has been found to be extremely reliable, and several upgrades and life extension programs have kept it in working order. But now it's reaching the end of its service life. There has been considerable debate on whether to keep the Minuteman III in working order through further life extension programs or to have an entirely new missile. General Timothy Ray, the commander of U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command, told the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies in an interview, One of the key things with GBSD is an ability to sustain and operate into the future. Every way we look at this, the most cost-effective way was not to life-extend the Minuteman III. Life-extending Minuteman III was not a viable path. There is an extensive price tag for trying to modernize and sustain the Minuteman III because you'll need to replace parts that weren't meant to be in the ground that long. Ray further explained that propulsion systems, electronic circuitry, and guidance technology would also need to be refined sustained and upgraded in order to ensure the Minuteman III could remain functional in a relevant way. In August 2017, the U.S. Air Force awarded three gear development contracts to Boeing and Northrop Grumman for $349 million and $329 million, respectively. One of these companies was to be selected to produce a ground-based nuclear ICBM. On the 25th of July, 2019, Boeing announced it would not place a bid for the program, citing Northrop's recent acquisition of Orbital ATK, now Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems, Boeing's supplier of solid rocket motors. 
In December 2019, it was announced that Northrop Grumman won the competition to build the future ICBM by default. On the 8th of September 2020, Northrop Grumman was given a $13.3 billion contract to develop the GBSD Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Sentinel will incorporate low-risk, technically mature components and feature a modular architecture that can easily incorporate emerging technology to adapt as needed. Northrop is developing Sentinel using digital engineering techniques and AI. This enables the corporation to examine different configurations without actually building them. Northrop has reportedly studied 6 billion different configurations for the missile using computer modeling. Minuteman series of missiles gained range with incremental versions with Minuteman 3 acknowledged to have an operational range of 8,100 miles or 13,000 kilometers, though the exact range is classified. Sentinel will likely have a similar range. Minuteman 3 was the first true MIRV or multiple independent reentry vehicle capable missile. It can carry a maximum of three warheads and these can be independently targeted against three different locations. Sentinel missile will most likely have the ability to carry 12 to 15 MIRV. Minuteman 3 carries W78 or W87 warhead. W87 is an improvement on W78. Its design includes all modern safety features. Sentinel missile will be armed with the W87-1, which is an upgraded variant of the W87. W87-1 thermonuclear warhead has a yield of 335 kilotons to 350 kilotons of TNT. For perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, by comparison, had a yield of 15 kilotons. Minuteman 3 has been the cornerstone of American land-based nuclear deterrence for around five decades. It's been serving its purpose, but a new system is needed so that nuclear deterrence is not degraded in the coming days. American rivals like Russia are also investing in a new generation of ICBM to keep their nuclear forces up to date. The RS-28 Sarmat is a Russian liquid-fueled MIRV-equipped ICBM under development by the Makiev Rocket Design Bureau since 2009. It's expected to replace R-36 Satan soon. The U.S. needs to keep its land-based deterrence fighting fit, too. U.S. Air Force GBSD Program Manager Colonel Jason Bartolomei has stated that we are already in critical design review for the subsystems and we are months away from first flight. He said by 2023 we'll be at Vandenberg and will be flying the first test flights of the new weapon system. He had added the missile is already flying in a modeling and simulation environment. Sentinel will be the bedrock for American deterrence with 24-7, 365 readiness. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.